Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Red Dragon K631 Caster Pro Special Edition Mechanical Keyboard. Without spoiling too much, this is really, really, really good for the price. Let's just get right into it. I will say that Red Dragon did send out this keyboard for review, but that doesn't impact my opinion in any way. Let's go ahead and start off with the switches. This keyboard comes with their own custom yellow switches, and here's what they sound like. I expected this keyboard to be good, but not this good. I mean, there is no rattle in that space bar, especially. It just sounds so good. Now, these are linear switches, so you're not going to feel any sort of bump or click or anything when they activate. And here's anything else you need to know with the switches. Now, these switches are hot swap, which is really nice. It's pretty easy to take out. Uh, the LEDs are north facing LEDs. Looking at the case, it is somewhat see through, which I think is a nice little touch. So you can see the back of the PCB, and it just looks cool. Their logo is on the side of the keyboard, and this is a 65% keyboard. So there's no function row, there's no number pad. You do have a few buttons on the side, such as your page up and page down keys, and you also get your arrow keys still. So that's an important thing. Because this is a special edition, the keycaps are going to be a different color, and it's going to be a bit different. Uh, this one's like a really nice kind of teal color. I really, really like the color. It just goes with the keyboard so well. Looking back at that RGB, it is pretty bright. And to turn it on, you're just looking on this side and you can use 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth mode, or you can just connect to it with the cable. And this is a wireless keyboard. So that's really nice. Keycaps are pretty good. They feel pretty high quality and just they're pretty good. And to charge the keyboard or just to connect it, it does use USB-C, which is really nice to see. For software, uh, it does have software. You can go to the website in order to download it, and it lets you customize the RGB, macros, and some other stuff. And for the price of this keyboard, it is coming in at 60 US dollars, which I'm gonna be honest, it's a steal. This thing bends a little bit, but it doesn't creak in any way or make any other sort of noise. Uh, I've been using this for about two weeks and as of right now it's actually my main gaming keyboard. <laughs> the keys have a 50 million press lifespan so they're not going to be going away anytime soon. It comes with the keyboard itself, a switch puller, keycap puller, four extra yellow switches, a sticker sheet, and a manual. For people that still want to use those extra keys that you don't get on this keyboard, uh, right there on the keycaps, it shows you how to use the other keys by just pressing FN and then a certain key. For the battery life, this keyboard lasts about 30 hours with RGB on and up to 120 with it off. You can also see that there are two back feet for the keyboard so you can get a little bit more of an angle if that's something that you like. That's pretty much it for today's review. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.